guys, Crew of Blind Wave, I'm Eric. Rick. I'm Calvin. And we're here to watch Glass Onion, a Knives Out mystery. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Knives Out was a, a fantastic Ryan Johnson movie that I enjoyed, and we yeah. actually reacted to that. You can check out yeah. that reaction right here on the channel. We'll probably have it linked down in the description, too, just mm -hmm. for ease. If you haven't checked it out, please go check it out. I like that movie a lot. Me too. I love mysteries. I, I love love movies. Yeah, it, I love it, twists. Yeah, and it really captured that kind of like clue like feeling, but bringing it to a, a modern storytelling mm -hmm. age. I, I really, really enjoyed it. Star set uh, cast, too. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, definitely. Good. And this one, from what I've seen of the cast, is also no joke. Yeah. Um, I want to do this, though. I don't know how, how you guys feel about it. Like, I love being able to try to figure out these mysteries. Yeah. But I don't want either me saying something or you guys saying something to me. To ruin the experience. So I kind of want to like... You want the movie theater experience. I want to like individually... Oh, I think I know what's going on, but don't tell me what you think is going on. I, I want this... Either I'm going to figure it out, or this thing's going to tell me. But I don't want to I don't want to be like, uh, oh, well, maybe it's this. And then Calvin says, it's probably this. And then it is. And I'm like, fuck you. Calvin! You know? <laughs> well, how will I blurt out my insane theories? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. How will we have a moment like our last reaction... Where I'm like, it's this thing, and then be immediately and hilariously proven wrong. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. There, see, that's the thing. Like, there's this push and pull of like, I want to make sure that if it's a you know true mystery, I lo I personally revel. I think in fiction, my favorite thing is a reveal mm -hmm. that makes sense and makes me go ah, you know. So I don't know. How do you? What do you guys feel about it? I mean, I'm good. Just writing down the things as it goes along. And not like trying to speculate too hard, or at least being vague in the speculation. Let's be a little more vague in our speculation. I think this time, just give it a try. We can try, especially for like a mystery. I will give it a try. Give it a try, Calvin. I cannot promise that nothing will come out of my mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to experiment with glass onion, and we hope that you guys follow along. If you want the full experience, though, we actually do offer over at our Patreon campaign uh full link for all the things that we do including this movie mm -hmm. so you can check out the link of that in the description as well and as long as you're a patron over there at the proper tier you can watch the entire movie along with us this is on netflix i think exclusively right yeah yeah, yeah. i believe so i was well there. there was a limited theater release something like that wasn't yeah. there i think so but i, I think that he's i think ryan johnson actually made a deal with netflix for like a nine lot, or, a lot of money a lot really? Of shit. Yeah. Nine? A lot. There's a lot of movies I'm pretty sure that are coming. A ton. Well, I mean, it's Netflix. So. And it's a murder mystery, so. They can cancel it halfway through exactly. anyway. Yeah, I mean, there's tons of Sherlock Holmes stories. Uh, mm -hmm. Since I watched um, Knives Out, I've seen a lot more mystery stuff. I've seen Columbo that I never oh, saw before. I've seen Murder yes. She Wrote. Yes. So I'm more prepared now than ever. Mm -hmm. I saw these mysteries. I mean, that is what you're doing, right? Trying to solve this mystery? All right, let's do it. Subject to their approval. Uh, Captain on. on. Hey, oh shit, sorry. What can I do? <laughs> Aaron Burr, <laughs> sir. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Have you met the Burr, sir? Remember child equals NFT? We all laughed. <laughs> then the Crypto Kids app paid for this building. Crypto Kids? <laughs> Because she she's mean. No. She has two phones. She's afraid that I will tweet an ethnic slur. Again. 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 Yes. And you agree? Dang it, Rick. No. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? It's like a. It's just like a block of wood. There's got to be a window. It's a puzzle, puzzle. box. <laughs> Eric, puzzle. Stop it. Solve it. Oh, wait, hold on, it's Birdie. Stop theorizing. No, I can do it in my head. <laughs> you said it out loud. I solved it. <laughs> you fuck. I do not hate boobs. Boobs give us many useful things. Boobs give us milk, mm -hmm. cheese, mm -hmm. breast nourish our young until the age where we can go out and hunt for them. Let's be honest. Boobs are fun. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, right, babe? I love my boobs. They're so much fun. Oops. Sorry, feminist. Sorry. One feminist is a breakdown in the natural order. Evolutionary truths to go back billions of years. I've been calling you, you gotta answer me when I call! Oh, will you shut it? <laughs> You've been over this a million times. I told you when me and Whiskey are alive, you gotta listen. The natural order of things. 
My mom already broke it. It's a stereo brand. She did something to it. It opened up. She she opened it. She broke it. She figured it out faster than all of them. <laughs> oh yeah, sailboat. Tic Tac Toe. I know this one. Tic Tac Toe. I know this, but it's solved already, so it can't be. It's Tic Tac Toe. Thank you for contributing, Marty. Now it's a sliding puzzle. This is what it's like to be a friend with Rick. Yep. You wish it was this easy. That first one's a Fibonacci sequence. Mom! Yeah, that's it. How does she know? She's so good. Also, just let her solve it. Mom! Constellation. Man. There's a game called The Room where you solve a box like this. Yeah. Three. Closest inner circle. No one called her, huh? Yeah. It's not. Smash it with a hammer! Is that your solution? Just watched that for his new groove two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> so much to breathe. <laughs> hmm. Among us. <laughs> okay. Wow. Ooh. Blunk. Like. The detective? Wait. Yeah, he's oh. playing. What you said? Look, I saw you go in the engine room. You're it's Lansbury. Yeah! Oh my god. They're all. I don't know. Not in danger. A hunt. A challenge. I need. It's a bull buck. A great case. Huh? Wait, wait. She's wearing a no, net mask. No. no, Bernie, we A veil. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice. It's so funny. Oh. Oh. It is a gun. Oh my yeah. God. I, I thought it was a backfire. Crew! Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> there was here. I need you to remove your mask and extend your tongue. This will only be momentarily uncomfortable. Temperature, okay. That, no, I attempt, okay. That's my Mr. Idea. Cody. No pineapple on that, right? Duke, don't dance with pineapple. There's no pineapple. Well, is that some kind of disinfectant bomb? You're good. Have a great trip, everyone. Uh, that's what Trump was talking about. Just, Daniel, you know, put that in their bodies. <laughs> Remember, like, he was like, just put disinfectant in your body. Yeah, <laughs> like I put bleach in his veins. Yeah. I have a theory. Okay. But I can't say it because Write it down. Be right down. With a timestamp. There's a uh, timestamp. Yeah. It'll be like, aha. Uh -huh. Damn Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get timestamps here. Andy, hi. Andy. It's Missy Hammer. Holy shit. <laughs> this is so stacked. <laughs> On the guitar, Paul wrote it on. <laughs> I know, legit, right? But look at your face, it was worth it. Oh, my friends, my friends. Oh, it's a McCartney. My friend. How are you doing? It's so good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Great island. Great guy island, huh? Sexy, right? You're looking at Batista's outfit. Uh, it's well it's a hell of a huh? thing. Yeah. Man, well, you He's a gun. Murder, yep, Parker. he does. With a feather. Always. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just take a second and fully abbreviate this moment together? Abbreviate. We're old friends. We're still friends. Just our gang. Just us. Hey, hey. Hey, bro. I'm not here. <laughs> Who's that? I don't know. That's that? Daryl. He's, yeah. he's just staying here. He's going through some things, but he's not part of the experience at all. Okay. So first. Army. This is Daryl, get out of here. <laughs> it's a whole island. So, Look, I sent everyone home. I just want to have a normal weekend with my old friends like the old days. Right? I mean, that's the thing. <laughs> it's a Boston Dynamics Boston Dynamics horse. House. It's, um... oh, what is that? That's the hourly dong. 
You know I got full glasses in the hotel? What? Who's having gas? Okay, let's stop talking. <laughs> Your rooms are assigned by the chakra that I most closely associate with each of you. I know. Oh, I would love and hate this. <laughs> uh, yeah. You received a box? Yes. The wooden box was delivered to my home with simple children's puzzles. Which I was not believe it. There was an invitation inside. I didn't send it to you. Who did? The murderer. There's no murder. What? How many of these boxes? He's dead on the inside. Oh, I have one for each of my friends. Dare. <laughs> All right, we're filming here. Look at that little car by the pool. It's dangerous. Lionel, you are too also sexy fantastic. To be suit. <laughs> whiskey. I'm gonna put a little water in your whiskey. Here we go. He's still wearing his gun. gun. <laughs> <laughs> I was so confused. You never know when shit's gonna go down. Is that a type of gun that can be fired wet? What kind of shit can you not handle? <laughs> it's gotta be some serious <laughs> shit. You're right. <laughs> you gotta tell him. Listen to me. I'm serious. You gotta, I will. You just, I will. You gotta Where have I seen the, the oh, personal assistant from? Just follow him and then just do it. I will. Uh, the new Matrix movie. Mm -hmm. she, she had blue hair. Right? Is that... Is that something? I don't remember. I, you know, I have one number. It goes to all my fax machines all over the world. There's something valid. That's an important clue, I feel like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then there was the whole thing with the Halloween costume. It was a tribute to the Oscars, but people did not take it. Seriously. Oh, dear. Nobody would touch Bertie with a 10 foot pole because she went on Oprah and compared herself to Harriet Tubman. Oh. Oprah. Who do you think that? Is the common thread here. He owns them all, huh? Every yep. single one of you is holding on for dear life to Miles Bryan's golden titties. Titties. And each of you. Cover them. You'll stab a friend in the back to hold on. They suckle at his breast, milk, cheese. Will they yep. stab someone in the back? Or do they want out? Are they done? The girl seems so fascinated by that water bottle. I think she's the only one that she respects out of everybody here. Maybe Ben Wolf or Trust. It's a dangerous thing to mistake speaking without thought and speaking the truth. Good line. What do you think? Are you calling me dangerous? <laughs> short stint in retail and then Bertie J. So if her name is... She quit for a little bit and came back. The dog. <laughs> He's hiding behind a butt. He's funny. Only assholes eavesdrop. What? Dog. <laughs> I was eavesdropping, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Infinity pools are cool. Yeah. This is a smokeless garden. This is a smokeless garden. Holy shit, that's a, a time splitter's alarm. I thought it sounded like Golden Eye. Same company. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I was for sure. I was like, I was going to say it, and you said it so confidently. I was like, I'm fucking wrong, but it might be the same, yeah. They probably are. I mean, they used it here. Sure. Yeah, it went Goldeneye, Perfect Dark, Time Splitters. Pretty sure. Guys, crack it open some whiskey. So, they're all going to have enough time to see each other's motive before it happens. <laughs> this is a great show. <laughs> He's never without his Superman, gun. Superman, the... Was, Empire Cog. Empire. <laughs> or New Order, maybe. Is this my Cuban breeze? Drake's got us on the Is that the real Mona Lisa back there? What else? <laughs> um, it is Flavor. smaller than you think it is. Yeah. Yeah. Peanut grease. Halle Berry. Halle Berry. Oh, Jeremy Renner. I hope he gets better. You guys hear about me? Yeah. 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 <laughs> His legs got ran over by a plow. The Mona Lisa, it's, that's property of state. It's, 
blame it on the Pando block. Pandemic. Uber's closed. France needed money. Pandemic. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. You no, know, it turns out the transport <laughs> okay. and the security is most of the cost. Check this out. Oh my God. Oh my God. Should always have that. <laughs> it really is something. Cracked paint. Classic. Who the hey. fuck are you? Daryl. Daryl. Every time we've gotten to the point where I'm going to strangle you, you pull something like this and it's snatching. I want to be responsible for something that gets mentioned in the same breath as the Mona Lisa. Forever. Okay. Clear America. Our affordable home power solution. Clear is going to be powering people's dreams all over this country by the end of this year. Oh, yeah. You're already breathing it in. No. Testing it right now. It's you powering the island. This entire place off this. Any questions? Uh, wait. Uh, what are we with? What do you, what do you want? An iPad. Like, <laughs> an iPad. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Yeah, no, no, the winner gets an iPad. I don't actually need an iPad. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's just when you said win. <laughs> As Watson said to Holmes, it was Bertie who planted a remote device on the crossbow in revenge for stealing her signature ring diamond. <laughs> he already saw it? Yeah. Look at the secret ring. <laughs> it triangulates, Bertie, just perfectly with that thing, which is loaded with a dummy bolt. Aimed directly at Mr. Brock. Now, I believe is that Tupac on the wall back there? Feel some sort of <laughs> but more dead. That is a vintage Jayhawk brand crossbow. Jayhawk, bloody Jay. Yeah. Of course, there are other superfluous and rather clumsy clues. A hedgerow in the South Garden that spells a letter B. Bloody room is the sequel to Chakra, which is a one block by Gil. Blah blah blah. But the motive, yes, <laughs> all cleverly planted. 1998 issue of the Face magazine with a birdie on the cover. <clears throat> she famously wore what became known as the Ren Diamond. And that's a family heirloom. Well, to be clear, I mean, I didn't know what a blood diamond was. Yeah. So. Mr. Uh, the large pendulous pocket, which has uh, not left your neck. <laughs> Bit out of keeping with your breezy island style. Would you kindly open it for us? <laughs> My red diamond. A dramatic, passionate, and colorful crime for a fashionista, Miss Birdie J. Unfortunately, this crime clashed with the presence of Ben Marplock. <laughs> 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 oh, he's so upset. That that just felt like the most satisfying box side of Here's your iPad. So angry. No, Blanc, I'm uh See this was what I was trying to avoid. <laughs> that haven't happened to her <laughs> Look at that dress. Well, I'm out of here. Tomorrow morning's gone. Uh, Joseph's coat of many colors. Well, here goes numbers. It's fire. It changes things, right? That sure does. Numbers like this. Yeah, we can talk out the news. You bet your ass. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think I know how he's going to die. And this is our time. Damn. Time stamp. No, there are no time stamps. <laughs> <laughs> you all hate me so much that one of you would actually want to. <laughs> <laughs> They're not laughing. Miles. On your feet, genius. I want to see your. Miles, Duke. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Poison? Oh, allergy? Pineapple? No, thank you, that first. Governor jets off to Greece in a pandemic with a men's rights YouTuber who dies? Oh my god. <laughs> no, I... 
Uh, that's a tiny. That's such a tiny. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna splash out, <laughs> go in your ears. Oh. You have another murder to solve. Yeah. Until that boat arrives. Where's whiskey? Where's Andy? Where's Duke's phone? It's Duke's phone just gone. dang this. Yeah. Must be here. Yeah, I saw it. I think I know what happened to the phone. Good about his phone, look. His gun's gone. Oh, Andy bumped into him. Mr. 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 Oh. Oh. <laughs> He's grabbing him from me. Don't. <laughs> The lights. Help me, help me, help me! What happens at 10 o'clock? <laughs> the lights go out. That's what he said. It's like putting a gun on a table and turning the lights off. Ed Norton's expressions are so funny. <laughs> it's just the lighthouse. Oh, that's cool. It was Andy! It was Andy! She killed Duke and she What does she what have? She have? A spirit gun? What? Is that a spirit gun? No. Not today. So cool. These shots are so cool. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> really cool. Miss, <laughs> did you take Duke's gun? How could I take Duke's gun? And why are the lights out? Dead. What? Two side of mirror. Gloved hand. Right handed. Old forest fires. What are you thinking, Mona Lisa? She's the killer. Only one person can tell us who killed Cassandra Brand. The next one to die. Well, his office was closed. And he, it's I meant to be his husband, to right? Puker? No. Maybe. <laughs> Blanc? There's someone here for you. With a box. He's causing him Blanc and not honey. Yeah. Sure. You know. <laughs> oh. They did. Mr. Blanc, two days ago, I received a call. My twin sister committed suicide. Huh. Twin. I'm giving you all one last chance to make things right. You know where to find me. Hey. Hmm. You come with me to that island. It's your sister. Miss Cassandra Brand. What? <laughs> no. No, no. I think you gotta do it out of principle. So why would they suspect anything? Someone does, though. And you'll do the inspecting. Yes, I will. Who is the most surprised? Be there. Are you standing together at this bar? And Miles was leader of the pack. No, Andy was. They were all friends with Andy. <laughs> Bertie was a washed up model. Duke was a nerd doing video game tournaments. A nerd. Claire just lost the race for city council. Lionel was a substitute teacher. All of them were <laughs> <down> in the <laughs> okay, Sarah, it's so good. But Andy saw their potential. She found them all. Then she found Miles, introduced him to the group. This is Miles. Hey, nice to meet you, Miles. Hey. What is that you're working on? Just the napkin. So based on the napkin idea, Andy and Miles created after it blows up, they bring everyone along for the ride. Miles' aspirations keep getting bigger and bigger. Cut to two years ago, Miles meets some sketchy Norwegian scientist at an ayahuasca ceremony in Peru who sells him on this whole new hydrogen fuel. He becomes 
and he's willing to give the company's entire resources to launch this thing. No. Andy, Andy, come on. This is it. No, no. It looks like Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs, yeah. To blow up the world. Miles was very excited. He had an idea. Uh, so he grabbed an And they all lied for him? Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, and it worked. Down the books! Found it. This kind of looks like that clue note. Yes, yes. You yes. must be really great at clue, huh? I'm very bad at dumb things. My Achilles heel. Chicken box <laughs> running around, searching all the <laughs> This is a terrible, terrible <clears throat> game. Well, my students love it. I did you gas? I I sold my soul for this. <laughs> You're telling me that it could literally turn people's homes into the Hinden Rock? <laughs> and when we couldn't reach you, I went to your house. Final and I got there at the same time. Duke was already there. <laughs> Andy! Hey, Andy! Okay, okay. Can you say all that one more time for me, please? That's everything she said. That's it. I think maybe you should take a drink. You're just killing it. Lionel and Claire were never there. <laughs> but Duke came early. Early. Yeah, but they could have gone there early. Killed your sister, circled away, and then waited for the other to arrive. It's just Serena Williams. Yeah, they had one of those fitness wall things. In the edge of my brains, this case confounds me. We don't have a motive for Duke to kill me. So, so either you two what? want to do a session or what? It's live. <laughs> one o'clock. No. No, no, not right now. So Serena Williams heard everything. All right, she'll live. Well, it is now. We really need this. So do this for me one last time, okay? All right. Hello. Oh. Uh, so he told her to get with him? Seems like it. Butter him up? But that was a Triforce for a second. <laughs> on his chest? It wasn't. It, I mean, with all of his other tattoos on his hands, it definitely could have been. But make sure you're checking out Rick playing Legends Auto Hawk Grab Time at twitch.tv slash blindly. This day I am writing to inform you that the proposed Bangladesh factory is notoriously one of the world's biggest sweatshops. Please advise. So she knew. And you replied, sounds perfect, thanks. <laughs> what a reply! Ah. <sighs> Sweatpants. Sweatpants. Sounds perfect. Oh that is so dumb. He's a son of a bitch with Leave his ass. Change your accent. <laughs> Fast and thorough. Don't worry about being neat. Want to hang out? Or... <laughs> yeah. Doing south there. So, oh, I just saw the the one gun, the spear gun. Yeah, that whiskey head. Party over? No, 
Lisa, I left Duke. I left Duke because I couldn't. He didn't deserve this. Help me tell his mom. Hey, Help. hey, hey, hey. Yes, he did, okay? He is a bastard. I don't feel sorry for him. He deserved what he got. Oh, and no. are better off without him. So she doesn't know that he's dead. Mm -hmm. Immediately jump. <laughs> He's gonna kill her. Yeah. Well, she thought she killed Duke. Yeah. Yeah, but you still can't kill her. So many steps. It is a lot of steps. Oh. Huh? Son of a bitch. Her notebooks. The journal? That was a that was a hell of a thing. Twenty minute loop that she's not dead. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> him. What are you doing? Don't let him get away. Uh, I love movies like this that you can only watch it once in the same way. <laughs> the kombucha. Sister's not actually dead. Rick! Damn it. <laughs> to be fair, that covers two people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is before the lights come back on. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man, that's a mistake. <laughs> he wants oh, to cry. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I know, but. Shit, that, should that. I can just make myself cry. I can make my face red. I can't exactly cry. But people see that red face like something's wrong with them. You can just push it out, can't you? Oh no. <gasps> Not the nose. Oh, this is so fucked up. <laughs> Jared Leto, no! <laughs> Just lick it real quick. Your head's over the peak. Oh, man. Are <laughs> oh, you just getting up and leaving? Okay. Yeah, she said she, she's not going to yeah, get no. up. And... and then they're just waiting for people to come. She's not going anywhere. Is it the original napkin? Already? It hides not behind complexity, but behind... Man, numbing, obvious clarity. Fibonacci sequence. Truth is, it doesn't hide at all. Right? Yeah. And that's uh, the red letter right there. I was staring right at it. <laughs> great. The killer nearly struck my killer's heel. In breathe eight. In breathe eight. <laughs> Not What? Can we just take a second and fully in breathe eight this moment? It's not a real word. It kind of sounds like one, but it's just entirely made up. Now, reclamation sounds well thanked. That is a word, but it's the wrong word. This place is the full reclamation of everything I've achieved up to now. This entire day. The predefinite detective. A veritable minefield of malapropisms. The infraction point. The factual errors. Bask in the sun, swim in the Ionian Sea. That is the Aegean Sea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is. It is. It's dark. <laughs> Underfuel is a disaster. I assumed Miles Braun was a complicated genius. But why? It's crazy this happened before the Elon Musk stuff happened. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Miles Braun is an idiot. Oh, please. Just tell us who tried to kill me. Uh, nobody tried to kill you, you vainglorious buffoon. Duke! You vainglorious. Took my glass. That's what you told us he did. What did we all actually see? Wow, look at that dress fit. Birdie, Misdirection. Just, just... You handed Duke your own glass. 
clear as crystal, right in front of our eyes, all of us, and then told a bald face fabrication. And it worked. Lock, you tell me this The murderer was the victim. Yes. <laughs> The night Andy sent you all the emails, when Duke got to Andy's house early on his motorcycle, he saw Miles leaving. Almost got pancaked. Was almost struck by him. In fact, he told all of us. Right out in the open, he told us. Iconic. You remember that night you almost pancaked me with my road outside of Andy? Anderson Cooper's birthday. Anderson that Cooper. Night, mm. I saw you on your birthday in New York. Gave you that necklace for your birthday. Mm -hmm. You're a doll's. I am. I am. <laughs> Two weeks ago. Forget the hydrofuels. May 9th. And the sweatshops and the consensual cook holding for cable news assignments. Sorry, what? And focus <laughs> on the envelope. They think it's Andy and it's not. Uh. Lionel faxed Andy's email to Miles, who received it in New York. The one thing that could destroy uh. his empire lies the truth in the hands of the only person unafraid to tell it. So Miles drives his baby blue Porsche to the scene of the crime, and Andy lets him in. Of course she did. Miles' his machine of lawyers and power could destroy her through sheer dumb force, but Miles himself? Oh, she was clever enough not to fear Miles. She didn't see the real threat, the obvious threat, until it was too late. It sure does. And told him exactly what he wanted in return for his silence. Your ass, come here. Mm -hmm. Right before he killed him. Mm -hmm. Does he keep a vial of poison in his tooth or something? Is that some rich person thing? No, 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 no. It's just, it's so much stupider than that. It, uh, buddy, what are the ingredients to your Cuban breeze? Vodka, amaretto. Oh, God. And pineapple juice. No pineapple in there, right? Duke, don't dance with pineapple. An allergy. You can't even have a drop. Pineapple juice. You just put pineapple it's juice so in allergic. his whiskey. It's so dumb. <laughs> it's so dumb. It's brilliant. No! It's just dumb. <laughs> he really doesn't like Clue, does he? Yeah. <laughs> Man. Would you be able to taste pineapple juice in the whiskey? I don't know. I mean, not if you're drunk enough. You seem to be drinking heavily. Oh, my. You have a loaded gun conveniently within reach. And the lights have even been turned on. You have taken seven people, each of whom has a real life reason to wish you harm, gathered them together on a remote island, and placed the idea of your murder in their heads. It's like putting a loaded gun on the table and turning off the lights. He really is dumb. Jackass! You're one murder with any panache at all. And you stole the whole idea from me. Got me a good shot, too. Through glass, too. And hers has one thing that Joey just doesn't. The Last well, yeah, but are there any of those that still exist mm -hmm. to compare it against? Okay, but second. Went up so quick. Everybody seems to have very foggy recollection of what they actually saw, and there's nothing but totally circumspective evidence. So, <laughs> if you're so dumb. <laughs> Raise your hand and say, I saw him take Duke's gun. I 
saw him that night at Andy's house. I saw the napkin before he burned it. We didn't. He would lie for a lie. But you don't lie for the truth. You're still holding on to his titties. You shitheads. see ah. <laughs> wow <laughs> oh, fuck One. It looks dangerous. Okay. If he walks around barefoot. I like flip flops and high heels on. <laughs> Sandals. Mm -hmm. I get it, guys. Let it all out. surprisingly well. That's cool. Three hits. What? What is what do you want? We're not
<laughs> he can do it now. Fuck it, eh? It's not worth your spikes. It's not. <laughs> it even says fire pointed at it. I know. Why does it have so much fire pointed at it? Or that Mona Lisa strangeness in your smile. Smile to tempt a lover, Mona Lisa. Oh, dude, you you whiff that you really hard. Whiff that tackle. <laughs> He's a little bit faster than you. will be mentioned with the Mona Lisa for all time. <laughs> You're right. That is true. You're so right. <clears throat> Immortality. I saw him driving away from Andy's house the night she was killed. So much glass everywhere. <laughs> Be beach glass for ever. <laughs> they have great nighttime lighting. Mm -hmm. Like this specific sky right here, you gotta wait. Did you get the son of a bitch? I guess I can say it real quick, I guess, and then you guys can get in with whatever else. All right, Aaron's already seen it, so he's going to offer us some perspective on something. No, I just, thought we killed him. No, there was something that I thought was cool in this, because there's tons of cameos. A lot of cameos. One cameo is that there's the giant dong sound. Yes. yes. Dong. Ryan Johnson has one actor in every one of his movies. 
the dong voiceover is actually from Joseph Gordon. Joseph Gordon, Gordon Levitt. Levitt. Oh my so, gosh, what? <laughs> yeah, so like he does the dong voice. That's great. Yeah, that was great. There's so many other, you know, Hugh Grant and tons of other things. But yeah. That, that was one when like I would not have picked that out, and I find it so funny that someone voiced the dong thing and it was Joseph yeah. Gordon Levitt. All right. So, all right, have fun. Goodbye. Thank you. Oh. I was going to I was gonna ask what you get, who you guys thought the dong, because it was clearly like a voice doing it, not like synthetic. Joseph Gordon Levitt. You know who he played in the Last Jedi? Who? Slow and low. There's no D in no it. D. Right? Slow no D. Slow and low. D. <laughs> if you don't understand that, I don't care to explain. <laughs> who, he said he had someone compose it in the show, right? Yeah, yeah. It I was some famous was. composer. Like I had this guy compose. Uh, it. Who's that? All right. So they just have a Knives Out tail in there to create the franchise yeah. as a brand, right? Yeah, the franchise of of. Is there was one Knives Out Blanc. Benoit Blanc. Yeah, yeah. I figured you'd call it like a Benoit Blanc mystery rather yeah. than a Knives yeah. Out mystery. I, I guess maybe because Benoit Blanc is not as memorable as the title of the previous movie. I suppose Knives so. Out. I would say that that makes sense if you're doing it in theaters. But sure. if it's Netflix, you're putting it in front of people anyway yeah so they like, they see the face on on the yeah. poster whatever but no oh yeah i have knives out on there that's probably what netflix <laughs> <laughs> <Knives out. laughs> well, i think that's why he was like oh god help us <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was a fun different silly mystery I, I, yeah. I i had a lot of fun with it no i i do i it's it's one of those movies where like the first time watching it is the best and then of course like the uh, it's comparable watching it again, but you get to see all the watching the it with friends minds. after you've seen it yeah. is more fun, I think. Sure, but but yeah, it's the the prestige of the movie is is really what's enjoyable about it. But after you see everything, then it it loses a little bit of its of its glamour, mm. right? Sure. And spotting some more of the the cameos and stuff like that is fun. Well, and also then you can just like pay attention to and appreciate crafting the mystery. Even if it can feel like, well, this is only here for this. I'm like, yeah, that's how all television and movies work. Yeah. So, you know. It's, they have to yeah. They have to have the gun on the mantle so sure. there can be a gun on the mantle. <laughs> the, the thing that shocked me the most was just that, like, Miles Braun is so comparable to Elon Musk. It's <laughs> they, so sure. And they outed him as an idiot. And I'm not saying that Elon is an idiot, but he's had some rough time in the news lately. <laughs> and that was after they made this. <laughs> I know. I'm it's crazy. Sure, there are plenty of people who knew that Elon Musk was an idiot. Oh, yeah, yeah. sure. Not I yeah. get you. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, it is just so weirdly on the nose. Like, it... It definitely dates the movie. Yeah, like, it makes it like true. Like truth is stranger than fiction. <laughs> yeah, I mean not only that, but like COVID. the the masks. Yeah, sure. Throughout the the movie until they get to the island. Yeah, it's just it's weird that that is now a part of humanity. Sure. Yeah. Like it doesn't really factor in much. Like if they if they right? like. In twenty years time, if there's yeah. a time travel movie where they go back to the twenty twenties. Yeah. They're gonna have to wear masks to make it believable. There's probably, well, yeah, or there's like a there's like a time travel like decision. Like we don't go back. We don't go back. 2019 and 2022. <laughs> don't go there. <laughs> Not worth it. A lot of shit happens. It's just, you know, we don't want to make it worse somehow. It's a butterfly effect, and it never gets better. You know the kind of classic like you know the time travelers like what year is it? And if they go like 2020, they're like, fuck, <laughs> back away slowly. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh. I Ed Norton was very fun in this. I, I enjoyed him like such an expressive face. It's one of my it up. most favorite yeah. roles of his. Yeah, yeah. I always like him. It was it was very fun. I liked it less than Knives Out. I think I did too. I don't really put much effort into com- to comparing you know two different things, but I get you. I think the characters were a lot more fun. Yeah, Knives and out Knives Out, and they were yeah. here. I feel like yeah. they were the, all kind the, of one note. The yeah. characters in Knives Out were, like, they were very different from each other. And all of these people, I mean, they're too real, I, th- I think is part of the issue. <laughs> <Maybe>. <laughs> well, know, you have the them, corrupt politician, you yeah. have the the mandem sure. influencer, you have the ditzy, idiotic movie star, you have the partner that was yeah. pushed out of a successful business. You know, all... Uh, you do. Know, 
It just happens and too much. And what's her name? <laughs> yeah, was the only one that kind of whiskey. subverted uh, a Batista's girlfriend. Yeah, yeah whiskey. whiskey. And yeah. it's really, it's, it's uh, in a murder mystery, I mean, the whole point of bringing someone to justice is that most people want justice to be a thing. But on this island, they don't care about justice. They care about their gravy train, right? Yeah. So they had to, like, be taught what justice was and why you should appreciate it? Well, in a way, I mean, kind but, of, but also really. the train is over. Oh, yeah. So, like, now it's just, yeah. well, let's also do this thing. But Sure. Uh, if that had not happened and he still had the money, I don't think they would have changed. At the yeah. yeah, no. They would have, uh, I guess, reveled in breaking his shit, yeah. but not to the point of what they <laughs> broke all of his shit. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. I loved, I mean, it doesn't matter too much in the whole scope of the movie, but I loved, he just cracked his shitty little yeah. mystery so quickly, much yeah. like Batista's mom did. He cracked it before it happened. <laughs> yeah. Batista's mom was surprisingly oh, adept. Man. Yeah, she was. I want to see her to be like uh, the, the sidekick in the next one. <laughs> was that Dustin Hoffman's mom? Was it? Because her last name was Hoffman. Huh. It was like I, I, I'm not really sure. Karen Hoffman. I've certainly seen like that. that actress in a bunch of different yeah. things before, but I can't. She wasn't the lady from Better Call Saul, was she? Which lady? You talking uh, about the old lady? The old lady? No, that was. Um, oh shoot, Carol Burnett. Okay. I think. I don't know. I, I feel like I've seen her, her in a couple of different things, but I, I don't know the names. Now we yeah. do have uh, the four yeah. people here, which you pointed out, Angela Lansbury. Yeah, yeah. bottom left, and then Rick. After uh, after I brought the scene back up, yeah, you recognized Colombo, right? Yeah. No, oh no, okay, that's Stephen Sondheim. Stephen Sondheim. I thought you recognized Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, bottom right. <laughs> that's Kareem. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> And, sure, I see his uh, name now. I, and I recognize him now, yeah. Top right is Natasha Leon from uh, Netflix's Russian Doll. Oh, okay. Okay, and who's upper left? Uh, Steven Sondheim. Yeah. Who is? Um, I think he's like a murder mystery writer or okay. something. Hmm. Or, hang on. <laughs> see, whenever I've, you I've said... heard his name before. Is he like a producer or something? I don't know. I don't know. I do my best to recognize, but I do not know. Uh, yeah, he's a musical composer. Gotcha. Okay. Ah. Okay. So, Stephen Solomon. That sounds familiar. Hmm. See, when you said Angela Lansbury, I just assumed, okay, all these people must be famous detectives. That's, who I, that's what I thought, too. And it's really funny that they're playing Among Us. And it's still funny that Angela is in there, yeah. <laughs> you know? But uh, <laughs> that is a funny gag that they all get together and play Among Us. Mm-hmm. Especially. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. And, I mean, that is one of the factors of, of uh, the shutdown, right? He's very, very bored and, I guess, able to take on a case that's very unconventional. Yeah. <laughs> that he has no protection for himself, either. I kind of wish the movie had really laid into that and, like, he has to solve it remotely. Yeah, that would be... <laughs> oh, man. That would be great. <laughs> that would have been actually pretty oh, good. Oh, working from home. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. But instead they have a magic mist... I uh, I definitely, I mean, I, I loved his character in the first movie, but he reminded me of one of my best friends in this movie who hates Candyland and keeps going on about yeah. it with Clue. It, it <laughs> definitely felt like Rick and Candyland. Clue's not great. Don't get me wrong. Very bad at dumb things. <laughs> Which is weird because I think I'm good at dumb things. <laughs> and then, yeah, I, I'm going to assume... That Hugh Grant was his husband. Like he's in, he's. A, I'm assuming he's at home. Hugh Grant was wearing like an, an apron. Yeah. Assuming he's at also at home, so they live together. The only thing that tells me it's not is he called him Blanc. Yeah, yeah which, is, which is his last name. Like either that or it's his housekeeper. Well, if they had met, maybe. Right? But if they had like met, the way that they had met was in a more professional environment. Blanc might become an, a term of endearment. You know, like uh, my high school coach would call me Whiteley. You know, but. I, if it would feel like towards the the end of our four years together that that became like like he could call me Eric but he doesn't because right? he calls me Whiteley and it was like a no one else that I never felt the same way anyone else would call me Whiteley the way he would so maybe something like that hmm. you know like it's Blanc became like a pet name in a way I don't know but you could be right 
that's just the stance I got. Also, it never came back. It was a huge cameo. Yeah. It just yeah. makes me think, like, okay, this is, might be something that continues in other, other movies, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Especially if what you said is true about, like, nine movies for <laughs> Ryan Johnson. Uh, I it's heard some number. Astronomical. I think it's, like, I thought it was, like, four or five, but the Maybe. astronomical number was the money he get he got. Yeah. yeah. He got a lot of money. He got so much money that he's, like... Yeah, I'll do Star Wars trilogy sometime, but really? I got a lot of Netflix money. To do. <laughs> I mean, it's like uh, Knives Out was vastly popular. Yeah, Conan Doyle and Sherlock Holmes. Like he was done with it, but that was where the money was. Where the money. Is. Thought I was out, but they kept dragging me back. Yeah. <laughs> I think my two favorite things was Edward Norton getting hit by the arrow. That was hilarious. <laughs> Perfectly timed. <laughs> the squib was just dumb enough. Oh my gosh! I love that there was zero. Yeah. Like he he did not try to sell it at all. Like the glass was already he was broken. So, so disappointed, <laughs> but also kind of smiling too. Oh, he's so just good. he's so dumb. Yeah. <laughs> and I love those kind of puzzle boxes. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, those are cool. Have you seen the ones where like there are channels on YouTube that yeah. They just, they open puzzle boxes. Yep. It is the best fucking thing ever. <laughs> these videos can span, like, weeks long trying to figure these puzzles out. Sometimes. Really? Yeah, you pay, like, tens of thousands of dollars for... A puzzle box. A puzzle like boxes that. like those. And I assume with that amount of money, you can put them back together. You're not smashing them. <laughs> <laughs> I did like her solution. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, which became the solution to smash everything while drunk. That's the message. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got it. I got the message. Drink more, think less. Right? That would make you happier. That's what's important. <laughs> it's important to remember that speaking before you think is not the same as speaking the truth. Mm -hmm. That was a good line. I did like that. Yeah. See, I kind of thought, I'm kind of glad I didn't go this way because maybe it wouldn't be too far, but whenever he left, he's like, I can't do anything else here. You know, he kept talking about there's no jurisdiction, there's no police. <laughs> I thought he's given her permission to kill everyone. I thought, <laughs> I thought, I thought he handed her the gun or something <laughs> <Yeah>. at first. <laughs> like, does anybody remember how fucking Miles <laughs> fell down the steps and they have all those steps? Yeah, you know, like the steps yeah. from from Surf Ninjas. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I figured like she was, well, like I figured the hydrogen or whatever was in the air. Yeah, and, like she was gonna get him to light himself on fire. Because he kept like he was clicking it, yeah. right? And they mentioned yeah. like the Hindenburg or whatever. Yeah. Did you guys have any predictions that you, you had written down that turned out true or wild theories? You got the uh, that she didn't die. Yeah, yeah. But I thought I thought the Mona Lisa security system was going to kill somebody. <laughs> I thought so too. I thought he was going to get guillotined. <laughs> like they were gonna, I wrote it down. <laughs> put his <laughs> head in and be like, <laughs> Yeah, they were going to clap or something. Clap together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here's my guys. Thank you very much for watching uh, this movie with us, Glass Onion. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing and check out the playlist of all of our movie reactions. There's a bunch. Find your favorite movies, watch our reactions, and uh, keep doing that forever. Do you run out of time?